A big thank you to all our sponsors here this evening. We do have uh, a Winston print on table number nine. A big thank you for your sponsorship. Table number nine, Winston print. Well, a big, good matchup here as well as a, as a Taekwondo gym goes head to head with a kickboxing gym almost under kickboxing rules. I went to school with a, uh, a Taekwondo silver medalist for Team GB. Well, and you're above me. And, uh, and then, you know, it didn't inspire you to great things in the kickboxing world, well, though, did you? I make people laugh for a living, I keep it in the head for a living. <laughs> You're funny sometimes. <laughs> well, it's Jason Morrison, who is from York, and he's a full contact kickboxing one win, but he's won world championships in uh, Taekwondo in 2014 and 15. So it'll be very interesting to see his style here. And this is a little ingredients going into the cake. Ollie Fiore from the Legion's Gym, 16 years old. And he's uh, four wins, no losses at kickboxing. He just won on the WKO full contact. He's unbeaten. Making to be in a good, uh, good fight this one. Two young kids as well, yeah. very young lads. Yeah. Wow. yeah, good opening. I can tell already these two, these two kids have got the minerals. Look at the different way they contain themselves and hold themselves. Look, ready on that lead leg, real kickboxing style that is. The taekwondo. Really aggressive start from both of them. You see Morrison taking centre ring there um, and really kind of going for it. And now we've got a sw switch around. We've got um, Flory taking the uh, centre. Good counter kick there. Step back, switch his kick. Brought it up high. That's a good score. I'd like to see him put their hands and feet together now because we've seen good kicks, good punches so far. But it's all about combinations, this sport, my friend. Both patient. They both want to fight on the counter at the moment, they don't do. they? they want to, they're, they're looking for an opening, but it's not going to come if you don't, if you don't force it. He's telling his corner to get off the ropes there. Very calm and collected, these two kids. Yeah. Listen, we've got a 16-year-old and a 17-year-old in front of us. They're so relaxed, it's unbelievable. It makes it nice and easy. On these amateur shows, when you see these young kids, sometimes it's hard to watch with some. These kids make it easy to watch because they're comfortable. Do you understand that, David? Yeah, yeah. They're, so, they're, they're comfortable in their own skin and they're comfortable in their, their ability as well, which is good to see if someone's seen that. Gents, do appreciate uh, our ring ladies here this evening. Luzana in the ring from uh, Platinum Mates. Great to have them here this evening. Well, there's 10 seconds. Second round. 
very interesting fight this one for me as well. Not just exciting, I mean, they're very patient in their build-up, but two different fighters, aren't they, David? They are, they are very different. Uh, their styles are kind of contradicting each other. In the first round, at some stages, they were kind of trying to work. You can see, see them trying to work each other out. And they're not quite sure what they're facing at the moment. Also, what I find great is under kick under kickboxing rules, you've got these two ingredients as well. It's, that's what the K1 was actually designed for, is to get different ingredients and different styles to fight under kickboxing. But we're seeing it under just pure kickboxing here. He's gone for a sweep there, and it just finished up nowhere. And at the moment, there's not a lot of scoring going on beginning this round. Back. Lazy, didn't recover, did he? Yeah, he's pushing out a good punch on the counter, but why is he not kicking at the end of that, David? I want, I want to see some combinations and, you know. It'll be good to see him just throw it together, uh, yep. you know, punches and kicks. But at the moment, it seems like they're doing one or the other. It's not, often, it's not often I see a kickboxing fight and I ask for more punches. Look at it that way. <laughs> but victory uh, kickboxing series here really opened up Norwich here tonight because we're just in the beginning of the fight card and already we've uh, seen different things. We've seen the kids putting it together. We've seen some big hard-hitting heavyweights come in there. We've seen the, like, the big battle in the last round with the comeback and the heart determination. And now you're watching a very technical fight One, two, between two people with very different attributes. It's, it's, been, it's been a great show so far. Like you said, we've, we've had a bit of everything and uh, I think people will be happy and uh, getting their money's worth at the moment there. struggling with that style. I can't see him getting around the right leg of this southpaw. And when he does, he swings wild and he's ducking under it. That, I think that's been the uh, most confusing part for the blue corner here. If you just watch, it's that lead leg style. He's struggling to get around it. Look, now he's trying to kick around it. But he, listen, you've got to fight like that. You've got to charge through him. Position kick again. He's picking him off as a score to the head as well. I think there's been good moments here when he's been lazy at some points with his recovery. I think I think Fiore's done very well, but I think Fiore just cannot get round that stance at the moment. He's been throwing some good shots, but when he kind of turns his back and he gets a bit lazy, it just yep. lacks a little bit of concentration. Yeah, I'm in total agreement with David. That's, that's been the notice of multiple points for me. And look, he just waits for him. And look, block, kick, kick. It, I'm just showing you like, what great style that is to bring to the table here tonight. Boxes, 
chases him again. I think Blue Corner know their fighters now chasing this fight because they're calling him on to him. But look, he just can't get around that stance. Very, very good style there from the uh, back fighters actually. They're both, both obviously got good styles. But we go down to judge the scorecards. I don't know where my money's going.